Hi everyone, I'm Brian with Obedia and PC Audio Labs, and today I'm going to bring you a look at all of the new uh, effect plugins and their designs in Persona Studio 1.5. I know a lot of people have really been looking forward to this, so I figured let's just dive right in and take a look. Let's start off with Analog Delay. I'm going to drag and drop Analog Delay onto my track here. And analog delay, the first thing you'll notice is that it just looks completely different from the way the analog delay used to look in Studio One. It's got a look now that sits, I think, much better into the Studio One ecosystem. And analog delay now features state space modeling drive stage and improved width control. So we've got width control right here. And our drive stage here, you can see that state space logo right there. And I'll just go ahead and play this on a drum loop for you so you can hear a little bit of what it sounds like. There's a lot happening there, isn't there? Uh, it's, you know, I, I really love analog delay because I really do love a solid delay. They're really great on vocals and um, drums, for sure. I love them on drums. I am a drummer, so I have a tendency to love analog uh, delay and some kind of delay on drums. And so that's a look at the new interface on analog delay. Next up, we have auto filter, which again has had a serious facelift. This also has state space, space modeling drive staging on it. And uh, we'll just go ahead and open up a preset just so you can hear a little bit of what it sounds like. Pretty cool effect if you want to kind of chop and, and mess up your audio a little bit. Uh, auto filter is really good for that. Beat delay is up next. It's also had a facelift, fits much, be much better into the Studio One ecosystem now. And uh, beat delay has improved width control. So you've got a improved width control right here on the width knob. And we'll go ahead and just find a preset and play it for you. that nice long wide tail on the end there so uh, cool improvements there on beat delay next is chorus chorus have, has also had a big facelift I really like this kind of retro sort of vibe the sort of 70s vibe that's been added 60s 70s vibe that's been added to some of these plugins by personas I think it just makes them sit really nice into the uh, the DAW and honestly you know let's face it we do like plugins that look clean and so I just I think these are really cool that's just a side note, uh, Chorus has improved width control now. So we've got stereo width control right here and also LFO width. And again, we'll just load up a preset so you can hear a little bit of what it sounds like. There you go. And uh, again, big one there obviously is the overall look of the plugin, but that ex extra width control I think is a boon as well. The compressor is next, and uh, let's face it, compressors are one of the most important parts of any uh, digital audio workstation and really any audio workflow when you come right down to it. Uh, so first of all, the compressor has been cleaned up quite well. I like this new look. Uh, it's going to be nice and easy to navigate. Still pretty straightforward with your threshold ratio and knee settings on the left-hand side. You've got your metering right in the middle, and then on the right-hand side, you got your envelope gain, side chain, and global. But uh, what's that? We've got a filter for external side chain input now. Um, so that's this filter right here. So this allows you to further filter and add side chain input into your compressor. So if you like to use side chaining, uh, in a traditional fashion, let's say, such as using your kick drum to uh, push a little duck down on your bass guitar or something like that, that new filter option, that should start to help you to be able to plan that out a little more readily using the new settings in the compressor. The expander also has a filter for side chain input and it's gotten a facelift. The Fat Channel XT has external side chain input. You can see that control right up here. 
The gate also features a filter for external sidechain input and threshold control consolidation. The limiter now features external sidechain input and alternative attack modes, fast, normal, and slow, as well as alternative curve modes. Multiband Dynamics has gotten a major facelift, which you will notice from the previous version of Multiband Dynamics, and now has the option for external sidechain input. Pedalboard now has improved auto pan modulation. Phaser now has a brand new soft modulation mode and stereo spread control. Let's play that so you can hear it. Pretty cool. Pro EQ has gotten a big upgrade. First of all, of course, in its overall look. So it now looks much more clean, of course. It's got a facelift. It has an additional phase linear low frequency EQ, which is fixed at 20 hertz, 50 hertz, and 80 hertz. That's this guy right over here. So that's a cool feature if you're looking to really get some deep control over your uh, low frequency cutoffs right there. On the input meter display, it has a new 12th octave analyzer mode with a keyboard overlay, adjustable meter range, metering peak hold function uh, and a metering peak hold function for sidechain input. And I'll just play a little bit of audio and just show you what this all looks like now. And you can see right there, I have that new 12th octave setting on the spectrum display set. And I should mention that there is sidechain input available on the new Pro EQ as well. So this is a great way to be able to, again, take further control of your mixes. Rotor has a brand new interface. You can see it's got this very vintage looking interface on it. And it also features state space drive modeling drive stage on it. And let's go ahead and play that. So if you really want to, you know, mix up your mix a little bit, the rotor is going to be a great way to do that. Tricomp has gotten a complete facelift, as you can see, and it's now very clean. It's got this cool yellow, green, and it's kind of gunmetal look to it. Tricomp now features state space modeling drive stage, external side chain input, and alternative attack modes. you got fast, normal, and slow. And I'll go ahead and play this just so you can hear it. really kind of hear it kicking in right there. So yeah, this is another great improvement on uh, one of these very uh, oftentimes used plugins in Studio One. Now those are all of the plugins in Studio One 5 that have brand new features built into them, but there are, are many other plugins uh, which have just simply had facelifts as well to make them fit in even better with Studio One's overall look. And so you can take a look at all of those, of course, by just loading up Studio One and then dragging and dropping any of those plugins uh, into Studio One because, again, don't forget, everything in Studio One is just as easy as a drag and drop. So it's really simple to be able to add all of these plugins to your workflow if you wish. So you can check out all of these plugins uh, by checking out Studio One. You can go to personas.com to find more information on Studio One. And of course, if there's anything that I happen to have missed here or anything else that you would like to know, please do feel free to get in touch with us at Obedia. And you can find us at obedia.com. If you need a great PC to run Persona Studio One on, check out pcaudiolabs.com where we build and configure the world's best pro audio PCs. And of course, if you need to learn how to use Persona Studio One, dial us up at Obedia. We'll help you to tame your technology and get the most out of your digital audio hardware and software. 
That's what we do best here at Obedia. As always, everyone, I'm Brian with Obedia and PC Audio Labs. I want to thank you for tuning in, and until next time, take care. Today's pro audio hardware and software can give you excellent results if you know how to use it properly. Obedia can help you to get the most out of your pro audio hardware and software. Why spend your time scouring the internet for answers or digging through manuals? With one quick call to an Obedia technician, you'll be connected with someone who can give you the answers that you need in real time via phone and remote desktop. Obedia technicians are trained in all major digital audio applications on Mac, PC, iOS, and Android devices. Obedia member subscriptions are cost effective, give you great member benefits, and Obedia is here seven days a week to help you get the most out of your digital audio hardware and software. No matter what your level of expertise, Obedia can help you to stay focused and productive and get your music back on track. Start taming your technology today with Obedia.